I don't know exactly what's happened here, but uh, I think there's supposed to be a ceasefire, so uh, we're jumping into this a little too early. I think somebody uh, decided to open fire until we figure out uh, what exactly is going to happen here and uh, these teams get reset. Uh, we'll be here with you for the time being. But uh, this match, Fimble Winter versus Nebula Rasa. Apparently both role-playing teams. We all love role-players in EVE. It's, it's the best part of EVE. How can you not love role-players? Especially the ones that sing in local. <laughs> well, it looks like a really interesting strategy on Nebula Raza's part here, fielding a damnation and four Navy Vexers. Uh, and Fimble Winter, this is the first time we get to see a Maelstrom and a Drake in action in the tournament. Yeah, four Navy Vexers, too. We had a look at the damnation as well. Not really uh, fielding any guns here, so we don't really know what to, what to expect. We're figuring probably full of gang mods and uh, maybe some... Uh, what, what, what are you thinking? You're th you were thinking NOS, or were you thinking NOS for the Vexers? Yeah, I, well, no, no, Vexers I think... Vexers kitted with blasters. Yeah, yeah having, a closer, having a closer look at the damnation here. Not seeing any guns, so... Uh, we could, could we be dealing with, uh, with uh, gang mods here as well? Well, no, I'd say definitely the damnation is using some gang mods. I think it's a, a really original strategy. I mean, we'll, it's yet to be determined if it'll actually work. But, I mean, we're going to see a huge swarm of drones doing a lot of damage. And, uh, you know, it, if they get in close, I think uh, it looks like the Maelstrom has artilleries fitted and he won't be able to track them. So I think uh, it, it all deter it's, it'll all be determined by range and how fast the I just love this, that we're seeing these, these just total wacky combinations. And that was, the, that was the greatest thing about the introduction of the point system. Um, but you also might note on the, on the left-hand side of your screen, Fimble Winter fielding a Maelstrom, Claymore, Drake, and a Rifter. Only four using up all of their... Or are they short a point? Or do they have no, they used left? them all. Uh, the Slipner's 11. That's or, right. Uh, the Slipner and the, uh, and the Tier 3. Yeah, that's right. And the uh, Tier 3. Okay, it looks like they've started. And the match has begun after a small little break here. Let's see exactly what happens. Yeah, it looks like Nebula Raza is trying to get closer. There's a ton of drones on the Fimble Winter team. One of the Vexor, Navy Vexors is taking damage, but we'll see. I, I assume he's armor tanking, so... So why do you think... We haven't really seen... Have we seen any web drones coming out here? I don't think we've seen any kind of... You know, they have so there. many drones out this time. I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if they did have some web drones. Yeah, let's, let's have a closer look in here and see what they've got. There's just so many yep, flying It looks around, like the Rifter on the Fimble it. Winter team is going to die here in a second. It's halfway into armor. No, nothing. You got Hammerheads and Ogres sitting out there. In the brunt of the damage. Kind of still nothing. Nope, looks like the first kill going to be made by Nebula Rasa on the Rifter, piloted by Rias Nia. Yeah, now Nebula it seems to. Down to a three on five here. Looks like they're taking on the Maelstrom next. Interesting choice. I would assume that Maelstrom can really, really tank, so. Uh, we saw what happened last time when they targeted the battleship before they did the command ships. That they did, but we haven't. The, the interesting thing is, is we haven't really seen these things in action, and not really in a controlled situation like this as of yet. Um, seeing as the the new patch, revelations to the people uh, outside of the game, but you know the, the internal name of most of the players that have been around a while. Notice Cali, we've all uh, we've all had this, and it's been a fantastic patch with lots of new content. And, uh, you know, some cool-looking ships and, and some interesting stuff coming out of this. I still need to go through all my skills and get all that stuff figured out. This uh, Maelstrom going down <laughs> rather quickly. Um, we need to uh, get in on that damnation and see exactly what's going on. Is this just a massive NOS fest, or what, what are they doing? Is this just the yeah, that's, that's what it looks exactly like. exactly what it is. Just what we had anticipated. And the Maelstrom is into structure and should be going wow. down here very soon. This is a great strategy by wow. Nebula Raza. Completely unexpected with four, down and four Navy Vexers in the damnation. What a, what a great, uh, what a great combination. I, I, I did not expect that looking down at Maelstrom, Claymore, Drake, and Rifter for Fimble Winter. Looks like that uh, Maelstrom. Goodbye. Down to a two on Five now. Claymore and Drake on the left hand side of your screen for Fimble Winter. On the right hand side, Nebula Rasa still fielding all their ships. Damnation and four. Navy wow, a nice explosion. I just seem hardwired to enjoy big explosions. 
Uh, it looks like uh, the Nebula Raza team is starting on the Drake. Drakes have a really good tank, but it is interesting, someone noted uh, that, you know, these ships have only been out on Tranquility a few days, and really the, the setups haven't been worked out uh, by many people. So, I mean, it's interesting to see. I mean, the Maelstrom really didn't hold up like I thought it would. No, not at all. And and I mean, I, I didn't expect in the first in the first few rounds to to see these uh, these new tier three battleships pulled out, but uh, I guess these guys have been uh, doing their homework on CC for the past little while. So uh, coming into this, and, uh, really catching their strengths, or in maybe this case, not catching their strengths. Drake being targeted and called primary by Nebula Rasa and going down rather quickly. Yeah, Fimble Winner, I was surprised, uh, you know, a lot of them have really new characters, but, uh, you know, they've already made a name for themselves. Uh, I know the team captain, Ryan Rias Nia, uh, has several really long quotes, and they're all from himself and his bio. Kind of interesting. Yes, as we said. The last time, actually, the next match is by a team that got picked on quite uh, frequently last time, and that was Morse's Mihi. But uh, it looks like we have we have a couple new groups here that uh, I don't know if we, I don't know if we could pick on them. The only reason we picked on Morse's Mihi last time, and I think it was like a role playing thing, we didn't know who they were, we didn't have all the information, and so it just kind of stuck, and, and we carried on with it. But but here we are. We need we need a new group to pick on. So uh, this is only the first day. I'm I'm sure that uh, I'm sure that Spiral will come up with. You know, one of his uh, his wonderful quotes yeah, about Drake. something, and it'll turn into it. And there goes the Drake for Fimble Winter, a, a, a tactic that I I mean, w did did anybody anticipate something like this at all? Did did somebody actually see this coming? Yeah. I I sure as hell didn't. I think so. I think we'll see some really interesting things. I mean, the tournament's wide open this time, and that's why you know I've got all kinds of teams I think will do well, but it's it's. I mean, I just can't imagine all the permutations. Someone also mentioned a Lachesis, uh, four Lachesises, or not um, Lachesises, four Celestis and an Eos, which would add up to the 28 points uh, as an option. That would just be sensor dampeners. I, I expect Burn Eden or someone to at least try that. The, the full sensor damp setup, we haven't really, really seen that yet. And we've seen it sort of attempted with the Malice, but the Malice config not seeming to... Uh come out too well, except for the uh, the corporation who, who came out on top in the first match of the day. Wow, and this uh, this Claymore taking a beating here. But still, he's, he's actually he's actually going down a lot slower than what the, uh, the Maelstrom did. Kind of surprising, but uh, interesting nonetheless. Yeah, we should also note that Fimble Winter are Midmatar role players, and they did have a Kaldari ship, but the rest were Midmatar. And Nebula Rasa is... Uh, Kind of a secular cult that worships worships some sort of cryptic transhumanism with a Galent influence, and you can see they have all Galent energy dexters yeah. and the damnation. That they do. Just a matter of time here, and that is the end. Bimble Winter versus Nebula Rasa. On the left hand side of your screen, you're seeing absolutely nothing because uh, they've been completely wiped out by Nebula Rasa. Thimble Winter was fielding Maelstrom, Claymore, Drake, and Rifter, losing all four. And on the right-hand side of your screen, fielding and damnation and four Navy Vexers is Nebula Rasa coming out on top with a uh, left-field combination. I, I don't think Thimble Winter anticipated anything like this. I, I honestly think the Thimble Winter was probably sitting there thinking, yeah, we're going to do this. These guys are done. But clearly not the case. But do, you, do we think that, you know, is do we think that the thing, I guess the thing is, is, is Nebula Rasa going to come back tomorrow and uh, field the same setup? 